Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to go do some high banking. We're going to head down to the Innisfil Bridge on the Red Deer River. Uh, we were there once before. We did a collaboration video with uh, Adventure Works. Sorry. Uh, if you haven't checked their channel out, after you're done watching all my videos, go check out Adventure Works. They got some interesting videos on there. Uh, now, when we went last time, we did decently, uh, but they have been back a couple times since and they've done pretty good. So we're going to go down in the same general area that we were before. I'll put it on a map right here. And uh, we'll see if we can't get some good gold. Maybe we'll hit, you know, a pocket that's uh, never been discovered before or whatever. <laughs> Not likely, but uh, let's go see how much of that flower flood gold we can get out of the Red Deer River. And uh, make sure that you stick through to the end of the video. Uh, we're gonna discuss our 500 subscriber giveaway and we are super, super close to that. Uh, if this is your first time, hopefully we can get you to subscribe before the end of the video. And if you are already subscribed, right on. I hope you like it. So let's get down to the river and see what we get. All right, guys, we made it down to the river. We are on the south side of the Innisfail Bridge, probably about, I don't know, 100 yards up. Um, we did a few test pans. We got some gold. Um, there have been a lot of people digging up here. Some have been kind enough to fill their holes back in. Some haven't bothered. Um, whatever, to each is to own. It's not a law. It's just a courtesy. Um, so we're going to do something a little bit different. We're not going to dig down. We're going to dig in. This bank right behind me where you see all the roots, this is a flood gold zone here. And these roots tend to grab onto some of that gold. And uh, when the water recedes, the gold stays. So we are gonna try our luck. We did do a couple pans in the roots and we did get some, some gold. Nothing major, no big flakes or anything, but you're not gonna see too much of that here on the Red Deer River. So we'll just start going. We'll get the pumps running. Everything's set up. I like to run at 10 degrees. We did build this unit ourselves. If you haven't seen that video, go to my channel after you're done watching this video and you smash that like button and go ahead and check out the how to build a cleanup sluice. We all are uh, not a cleanup sluice, <laughs> how to build a high banker. We also, since I mentioned it, have a how to build a cleanup sluice for under $30. Now, if you're not going to make the investment of a high banker, a cleanup sluice is your next best thing. You come out here with a five gallon pail, classify the bigger rocks out of it, take it home, run it through your cleanup sluice, and it does very similar to what this high banker is gonna do, just not on the scale that it's gonna do. So we'll start digging. Uh, we'll probably do one or two cleanups, and uh, we'll, we'll film those, and then we shouldn't have too much reclamation to do because we're digging across and not down. So uh, that's the lazy man's way to do it, and hopefully we find some gold. So let's get at it.
All right, guys, so uh, this stuff is really muddy and it fills up the, uh, the uh, high banker pretty quickly. We probably ran half to three quarters of a yard. So what we'll do is we'll do a quick clean out and then I knocked down quite a few gravels. We'll run the rest of those gravels and then we'll call it a day. Um, so we'll just do our clean out now. All right guys, that's what we're left with. Very fine, fine, almost mucky type, type stuff. Hopefully full of gold. What we'll do now is we'll set up, we'll run again for another little bit. <coughs> I figured we did about a half a yard. So we'll do another half a yard. And uh, and then we'll do a last clean out and then we'll go back home and run it through the cleanup suits and see what we get. All right, guys, so we finished. I, I ran about a, a meter, a meter and a quarter of material. And uh, we did one cleanup already. We're gonna do our second cleanup. And then I'm gonna wash up. I didn't dig any holes, but I did make a pile of stone. And I'm still gonna reclimate a little bit. I, uh, I'm pretty close to where someone dug a hole before and they kind of just left it. So I'll put my pile in their hole. <coughs> just try to make it as, as neat as possible. And uh, then we'll head back to the shop and uh, yeah, we'll run everything through the cleanup sluice and see how much gold we got. Made it a little bit. Now we're gonna pack her up, 
head back to the house and run the cleanups loose and we'll see you back at the garage. All right, everybody made it back to the garage. We have this much plus a little bit left in the five gallon pail. It's some nice looking material, super heavy. Um, our test pan showed lots of gold, so let's hope we get lots of gold out of this stuff. There's not much more to do, but to go ahead and put it through this cleanup sluice. We did build this cleanup sluice for $30. If you haven't already seen that video, go check it out after this. I'll leave a little tag right there uh, and you can check it out. Um, I'd like to have my cleanup sluice at one inch per foot. And depending on the type of material that we're running depends on how much water flow I have. I do put jet dry in all the water, that way the smaller pieces of gold uh, don't get carried away. But what you want to see in here is dancing sand. So you go about a foot down from where you're putting the stuff and you want to see the sand dancing all around in the riffles. So that's what we go for. And there's not much else to say except if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button and turn on your notifications. It does not cost a penny and it's how you show your support and it really helps out the channel. So let's get to it. All right guys, so we ran two thirds of the material as you can see. <coughs> we are seeing a little bit of gold in here, but there's all kinds of black sands in here. So we're gonna clean out, then we're gonna run the rest of the material, do one more clean out, go inside and pan it out. So I'll let you watch the clean out real quick, super easy. Uh, we'll set back up, run some more dirt. I'll film a little bit of that, we'll do it in quick time. Uh, and then we'll just go back into the, into the, I'll show you what we got, and then we'll go back into the house and pan it out. All right, folks, that's what we're left with. Again, really black sands. I can see, pull it back a little bit and see if we can find any, any little gold flakes for you to see before we go in and pan it. Oh yeah, there's some. There's some gold all up in there. I'm sure you can see it. If not, you'll see it when we pan it in the house. So let's go in the house and pan it out. See what we got. All right, guys, this is what we ended up with. So let's go ahead and pan it out. First thing I want to do is see how much magnetics are in it. So I'll use a little magnet. Got that off Amazon. Ooh, quite a bit. Quite a bit of little black stuff on there. So what I'm gonna do is put that in a separate pan. A smaller pan. And then we'll class we'll pan that out at the end of her just in case there's any little bit of gold flakes in there. I don't want to miss out on any of those. So to do that, we'll just put a little bit of water in a pan and release the magnet. And we'll run that like that a couple times. Get all the magnetite out of there. Ooh, I see some gold already. That's a nice sign. There are more. And just a little bit more. All right, so let's get to panning.
Let's see what's in the bottle. And there you go. I'll clean it up a little bit more and weigh it up and we'll see what we got. But first, I'm gonna take a look at the black sands real quick, which is right here. So we'll pan this back a little bit just to see. All right, after the black sand clean out, this is everything that's in the bottle, including the earlier clean out. We'll weigh it up and see what we end up with. Let's go to the computer. All right, let's see how much gold we got. Point zero six of a gram, point zero, ooh, point zero seven of a gram, point zero seven of a gram. Let's go to the computer and see what that's worth. All right, guys, 0 0.07 of a gram. Let me tell you about panning that before we get into it. Uh, well, the value's five dollars and one cent Canadian. Uh, that was about an hour and a half to two hours of running the high banker. I figure we put between one and one and a half cubic meters of material through. Again, not where you would normally dig. Normally, people dig in the down. I, I dug into the wall. Uh, and it seemed to be fairly successful. I mean, I'm pretty happy with 0 0.07 of a gram for that short of a period of time. Now I will say this, black sand, black sand, black sand, holy moly, there was a lot of black sand. And as well, there was quite a bit of magnetite in there. Uh, as you saw, you know, um, it might've been a better idea to dry all the material out uh, and then get the magnetite out would have just wouldn't have had to have pan it as much, uh, but we did it while it was wet, it's just to save time. And uh, so basically, um, we had to pan the, the mag magnetic stuff as well because when it's wet, it tends to, the, any gold that's in between the magnetic stuff tends to stay with it. When it's dry, it falls out a little easier. So yeah, black sand, magnetite, crazy, 0 0.07 of a gram for about an hour and a half to two hours, meter, meter and a half. Um, yeah, so all in all, it was a successful trip. Um, little special, special videos coming up in the next couple of weeks. We are gonna head, my, I have a friend uh, who has a claim out near Cranbrook. Uh, we're gonna head out to the claim. Uh, and and do some uh, prospecting out there. We're gonna try and find where the gold's at on that claim for him uh, and that way he can uh, When he does finally get his permits to take his machines in there. He's going to uh, Already be starting on the gold. So that's gonna be neat. We're gonna do that trip uh, here right away um, We uh, once we hit 500 subscribers, we'll be doing a giveaway so far for the giveaway. We have a bag of pay dirt uh, some gems uh, some t-shirts um, and stuff like that so if, if you're not subscribed you do have to be subscribed to, to get in on the giveaway uh, I'll put a link to our website down in the description if you need to get a hold of me if you'd like to donate something for the giveaway right on uh, if you have a new piece of equipment that you're trying to get out there uh, and you'd like a, a review video and as long as you don't mind an honest review we'll go ahead and do it just go to my website uh, and, and message me through there uh, as well, the link to my Patreon will be down below. If you know what that is, great. If you don't, uh, just check out what Patreon is, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Again, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, what else? Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, we did pretty good, pretty happy. Um, and we went during the week. Now, the one thing you do have to be careful if you're going to that location, again, the map you saw on the map where that is, if you're going to that location during the weekend, there's usually quite a few people there. There was actually someone there doing some panning while we were there, but because we went throughout the week, uh, there wasn't too many people. But you usually see two or three high bankers down there doing some high banking. So if you want to get a good location, uh, my suggestion is to get there early on the weekend uh, and get, get your test pans done quickly, uh, find your location and set up. Uh, but other than that, I appreciate you watching. Um, if you haven't seen, I do have approximately 60 videos out there now, so go ahead and check some of those out. They're always uh, neat to see the progression of the channel. 
I do appreciate your support. I do appreciate you watching. And if I don't see you around, I'll see you square.